Welcome, everybody. We're talking college basketball today, and I'm talking with Drew Martin, my partner in crime up there in the ATL, Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, Drew, here we go. College basketball, it's amongst us. I'm excited. I've been having some really good uh, edges in some first halves with some teams. This is a game I looked at pretty close and almost pulled the trigger, so I'm anxious to hear your, uh, your breakdown. UNLV going to take on Southern Utah. All right, it's minus eight, and the total's at 157 or 157. 57 and a half. I was thinking of UNLV, but I'm seeing some inconsistencies early in their games. So for me, uh, this is a 10-foot pole, but I'm anxious to hear your breakdown and maybe I can jump up on the ledge with you. All right, so with that being said, break this thing down and let us know where the edge is for our viewers. Well, Brenner, yeah, this one is a really interesting matchup. UNLV hits the road for the first time this year and they've had they've really had success for their backers going 5 and 1 against the spread. Um, really due to their defense, in my opinion. You know, their defensive field goal percentage is top 70 in the nation so far this year. And, uh, you know, Southern Utah on the other side, they uh, they kind of do play a little bit up-tempo, so that does scare me a little bit with this total, which I like it under the total. But um, they, they average 75 possessions, but when they play the better teams, like Valparaiso, Coastal Carolina, they've actually averaged only 70 possessions. That, 69 possessions against Valpo, so they've slowed that pace down a little bit, and I think UNLV defensively will be able to uh, to really hold them in check here, and I, I like UNLV on, on this side. However, this is their first time away from the Thomas and Mack Center, so getting out of Las Vegas, I don't want to really trust them to cover, you know, about an eight-point spread right now. I'd actually like it a little bit more on the under of under 157 and a half, Brenner. Yeah, you, you bring up some good points, and especially when you got a young team heading out on the road for the first time, all right, that changes everything because your whole schedule, your routine, your practices, everything is different, and that takes time to adjust. I like that breakdown. You know, if this was the UNLV uh, team of old, and I know I'm old, I'm, I mean, I'm old enough <laughs> to be your father plus some, but back in the day, this was a run and gun team, but they now focus more on lockdown defense, and I kind of like your, your breakdown there because Southern Utah, you know, and again, yes, they can run. But with that possessions difference that you talked about between 75 and 70, that's a huge difference when you're talking five mm. possessions. So I think 157 and a half can definitely, uh, you know, be done underneath that. Uh, how are you doing so far in college hoops since uh, the season has started? Doing pretty well. And actually, I th this is my first video with SBR doing doing college basketball. So hopefully this under hits and can start off uh, 100% here. That'd be, well, that, that'd be a good start. Yeah, you took the words out of my mouth because I'd like to go ahead and see if we can knock down a show like we did for college football because, you know, that's going to be very soon ended. So let's see what we can do. All right, viewers, you heard it. This is the first college basketball game that Drew and I broke down together. UNLV taking on Southern Utah. 157 or 157 and a half is the total. And and Drew likes the under. All right, so ride that ticket cashing machine all the way to the bank. Hey, Drew, thanks for being on with us. I look forward to doing this again with college basketball. Uh, the mission stays the same, though. In the meantime, beat that bookie and beat them hard, my friend. Go to SBRodds.com. Browse, compare, and shop live odds available at top online sportsbooks.